hello welcome back to another Android tutorial in this video we are going to learn about how to perform JSON parsing in an Android application JSON is one of the most commonly used data interchange mechanism in Android applications so before going to create an Android application based on JSON parsing you need to know some basic idea about JSON so here I create a simple presentation that will give you a simple introduction to JSON. JSON means JavaScript Object Notation. It's a lightweight data interchange mechanism or format. And it is in human readable format. It is not in machine code or any other format. You can read it directly. It is in human readable format. And it is easy for machines to parse and generate. JSON is a text format that is completely language independent and is supported by most of the programming language. And JSON is mainly built on two structures. First one is an object and second one is an array. Object and array is two properties that is supported by most of the programming languages. So the first one is an object, a collection of name value pair in various language. This is represented as an object. So in JSON data that contain some key value, some keys and some values. So that is called name value pair. In Java that is called an object. An ordered list of values in most language this is realized as an array. That means a collection of object is called an array. JSON parsing is one of the most commonly used data interchange mechanism used in Android applications. And here is a simple example of JSON data. So this is an example of JSON data. So here in JSON data the curly brackets represents objects and square brackets represents array. So here this is an entire object. So here it is start with a curly bracket and close with a curly bracket. That means this is a single object. And in that object there is an array is present. Here the array name is a result. And here there is a square bracket. That means it represents starting of an array, JSON array. So this is a JSON array and the array is entered here. And that array contains two objects because here a curly bracket is open. That means it is an object. So this is the first object and here another curly bracket open here. So this is the second object and here it closes. So this contain this array contain two JSON objects and each object is separated by a comma operator. So here is the first object and is separated by a comma operator. And here this is some key and value. Name, email and mobile are key and here is the corresponding values so these are the properties of these objects so this is how uh, JSON handle data so this is all human readable format you can easily understand what is what is an array uh, what is the object and what are the properties of this object that 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 means uh, JSON is human readable format so now we are going to create an Android application that to demonstrate how to pass JSON data. So before that we have to create we have to create some server spaces, we have to set up a domain name and we have to upload new.php script into the server. Now we are going to get some information from an online database in the form of JSON encoding. So first we have to write the needed PHP script and we have to upload the PHP script into the online server. And here is our database. Our database name is product that contain a table called product info and that table contain three rows. We are going to write the needed PHP script for get this information from this database. So open up your favorite text editor. So before going to write the PHP script, here is the needed information. Here is the host name. Here is the MySQL database name. Here is the user name. Here is password and here is the domain name. 
So now we have to write the PHP script for get information from the database. So here we have to first we have to get information from table, then we have to encode the information as a JSON object. So first here I am going to save this document uh, with the file name JSON get data dot php specify the file extension as php and save it now write the php script first we need some variables here declare some variables first one is the host name uh, now the mysql username now specify the MySQL database password. Now we need the database name. Okay, here I add all the new dot informations. Now declare another variable called SQL. Now write the SQL query for retrieve information from the table select star from our table name is product info select star from product info put a semicolon here and end this statement with a semicolon now we have to establish a connection to the database so declare another variable con and call the function mysqli connect first you have to specify the host name it is available on this variable called host now specify the mysql username now specify password and finally specify the database name db this will establish a connection to the database now we have to execute the sql query and we, we need to get the information from the table so create another variable result equal to and call the function mysqli query here first you have to pass the connection variable here the connection is available on this variable called the con now specify the sql statement it is available on this variable called the sql this will execute the query and get the information get all the rows from the table and save it in this variable called the result now we have to get each row from the result and we have to make each row as a name value pair and we have to encode that particular row as a JSON object. First we need an array. So declare another variable called response and define that one as an array. Now we have to get each row from the result. So we need some loop. Here I use a while loop. And specify the condition for get each row declare a variable called the row now get each row so call the function mysqli fetch array and specify the target variable that means the array that contain the row the variable that contains the row here it is a result okay uh, now we have to make some name value pair and we have to convert that one into some JSON objects so first we have to create some name value pair so you need to call a function called the uh, array iPhone push first specify the target variable here the target array is response now make the name value pair so call some function called array first specify the key here the first key is name now specify the data for the key and get the information from the row specify the row variable name here it is row and get the first index zero index that is name now get the second information that is email 
and get the data from this variable called row and that is the first index now get the third information that is mobile number mobile and get the information from the row and it is the second index and here we need some bracket actually the bracket is closed here you have to close the bracket from here and put the semicolon so this will make some name value pair and after get the name value pair uh, we have to encode the JSON data so call an echo function and call the function called the JSON encode here I am going to encode the JSON as an array so call the function called array first specify an array name I name it as server response now specify the data for the array here the data is that particular array called the response this will encode the data as a JSON array and display it using an echo statement this will pass this information into the as a response okay and finally we have to close the connection so call the function mysqli close and pass the connection variable con okay so now we finish the php script now we have to upload this php script into our server okay here is the server file manager now I am going to upload that particular PHP script so upload a file and our file name is json get data dot php open it okay now the file that particular PHP script is available on the server now we can validate this JSON before execute this but before get this information on an application we can validate a particular JSON now we are going to validate this JSON okay now we can validate the JSON data so open your browser and search for JSON lint open this website so this is a free tool for validate JSON data so here you need to enter a valid JSON URL so copy your domain name here is the domain name copy the domain name put it here and our file name is JSON get iPhone data so domain name slash JSON get iPhone data dot php and click this button called the validate so this is the json data from the server so this one represent the json array name here a square bracket is there that means this is a json array and the json array is entered here and that contain three json objects the curly brackets represents json object and each object is separated by a comma operator so our table contains three rows and here is the JSON data each row is represented as a JSON object so this is the first JSON object this one is the second one second object and this is the last object and here is the end of the JSON array and all this information is wrapped as a single object that's why here this curly brackets I hope you understand the concepts. This is how we get information from a server in the form of JSON. So in the next video, we are going to create an Android application that will get this JSON information and parse the JSON data. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.